So let's take a look at some of the fundamentals of animation here in Cinema 4D. We've got a simple animation here. And we've got the power slider here. And in the power slider, we have 70 frames. The blue boxes that you see here are what's called keyframes, and they correspond to these black dots here on the animation path. So with the power slider or the timeline, you can scrub by grabbing this white current time indicator and just pulling it. And this is a good way to test out your timing for your animation. Over here we have our play buttons. So this is play forward. This is going to go to the next frame. And this will go to the next keyframe. So if I click this button, I'm right here at 20 right now. It's going to take me to 21, 22. But if I click this button, it's going to go to the next keyframe, which is set at 30. So you can see how that works. We can go over here. This is going to go to the end of our animation. This will go to the beginning of our animation. Pretty easy. Over here, we have our record panel. And this is going to be the panel where we actually record our keyframes in different ways. And this over here selects the properties that we're going to record keyframes in. So we could record keyframes in position, scale, rotation, and in parameters. So if these are checked or unchecked, we'll have a bearing on what parameters keyframes are recorded in. Now we can click Control or Command D on the keyboard to go to the project settings. You can also go to Edit Project Settings here. This is where we can control things like frames per second. So right now we have 30 frames per second, which is standard for video. We could change this at any time to something like 24, which would be film. And our animation is going to adapt. We could change this to even higher frame rates for slow motion type effects. And you can see how the animation adjusts again. This is really nice to be able to do. We also have the minimum time and maximum time, and that correlates to the start frame and the end frame. So because we changed our frames per second to 120 frames per second, it adjusted our timeline from 90 frames to 280 frames. So we have 0 to 280, and you can also see those numbers right here, 0 to 280, start frame and end frame. So I could change that number here to, say, 90 again. And you can see that that is updated here in the preferences. So now you can see that's completely changed our animation because we're still at 120 frames per second. Let's change that back to 30. Now let me just reopen that file. There we go. Back to the start. Now let's take a look at the preview range. Preview minimum time, preview maximum time. This is the range in the timeline or on the power slider that I want to actually take a look at at any one time. So right now I have 0 to 70 frames, but let's say that I only wanted to take a look at 20 to 50. Well, now you can see how it's changed here in the power slider. We have 20 to 50, which is the same as what we have here in the preview min and max. In addition, we can make those changes here on the range selector. We can pull this out. We can double click to set a number. Or we can manually input these numbers here like that. And they will update here in the project settings. Well, let me go back and reopen that file. There we go. Now let's go up to our preferences. There we go. If we go under Units, we have some more information that we can change. Under Animation Units, currently we have Frame Set. We can change that from Frames to Seconds. And you'll notice that this information is changed here. So now we're working in Seconds. We can also change that to SMPTE, which is a combination of Frames and Seconds. So that's just another way to work. So these are just some of the basics of animation here in Cinema 4D.